so for this example, they say the rate of decay for a radioactive substance is proportional to the remaining concentration. So what are you analyzing here is on the remaining concentration. So C here is about your remaining concentration with right? respect to time. So you have to be careful when you're doing your doing your radioactive model. Sometimes the concentration will be concert will be focused on the concentrate the concentration that has decayed. Sometimes they will be uh, re referring to your remaining concentration. So C to the pulang sometimes they akan kata berapa yang dah decayed, berapa yang dah hapus, dah rupun. Sometimes you will say how many remaining here. So it is different. So the value is different. So for here we know that uh, for this question, they will focus on your C is remaining concentration. So your variable, you have to be very be careful on your uh, symbol here. C remaining concentration. So T, write down your differential equation, satisfied by this decay. So this is our differential equation to represent this process of radioactive decay, negative Kc. So if one third of the substance is remaining after 12 years, how much left is still available after three years. So means the T here represents time. And the time unit here, they refer, they refer to years. So you have to be careful, they will change the unit. They will become minutes, days, months. So here, they refer to years. So C refer to your concentration, remaining concentration. So. To understand, uh, to answer this question, your first step is you come out your story timeline. So this is your story timeline. So what is your story timeline means you must know starting what happened. So every every situation will must be have a starting timeline when t is zero. So of course in this process of decay, when starting timeline of course your concentration will be a fully concentration initial concentration. So the question say here. The if one third of the substance remains, so one third from the initial remain after twelve years. So this is your story timeline. And then the question comes: How much is left available after three years? So you come out the flowing first, the time, the story timeline to help you find out the solution. Refer back to our formula here, the rate of decay, dc, dt equals to negative kc. So solve this differential equation. As we can see our variable here, just c and t. So we can factorize this c. So this is our separable method. We separate 1 over c to the left hand side. So negative k here refer to dt, integrate both sides. When integrate 1 over c, you get non c. So here, negative kt plus, I want to put c, but should, c is not suitable to use here, this symbol, because c already represents our variable concentration. So we put another unknown, let's say a, to represent a constant here. So solve this de until we get general solution. You can notice here, your variable is c, and t means your a and k here is constant okay so we uh, we simplify our solution we unlock this when we unlock that e to the power everything so this thing become power and then we can simplify when you're looking on your power which is plus a we can make it e to the power of e So as we can see, our moon is here, but a is constant, e is constant, e to the power of a is constant, we can simplify it as a constant a. So this is our general solution. So with the value here, we're going to solve until we get the particular solution, then only we can answer these questions. What happened after three years? From the initial value, when t equals to zero, 
your concentration is initial concentration we don't know we just put a initial concentration a symbol only so means that here will be equal to c note a then e to the power of zero because t is zero when we solve here we know that our constant a is c naught what do you need to find is your constant a and constant t in order to get particular solution so a we get it which is c naught then we continue we have another information so that we're going to find out the k here so for t equals to 12 the concentration will be 1 over 3 c naught substitute to our general solution concentration is 1 over 3 initial concentration a we found it just now which is c naught e negative k t so this step is going to find out what is the constant k here notice that c naught can be simplified then in order to find this k we're going to lock back so when we lock back this e it will become long 1 over 3 so here remaining negative 12k so we find out what is our k it will be negative 1 over 12 long 1 over 3 we will avoid using decimal all right because it, it doesn't ask us to find out what is our k we will, or what we will remain it in this term because one decimal you will have rounding error once you put in decimal you will have rounding error so your final answer later on will be a bit different so finally we get our particular solution where concentration constant a here we found which is c naught initial concentration and negative k when I put in here negative k, negative, negative become positive 12 long 1 over 3 times t. So this is particular solution. We will use it to answer the situation number 3. What happened after 3 years? So when t equals to 3 years, we're going to find out what is our c. So substitute T as 3 and then you press your calculator here. Press up how many remaining portions you have. So this is remaining portion you have. Means your concentration will in if we put in percentage you will have 75.98%. remaining of initial concentration after three years.